Oregon coming off two consecutive victories against then top 10 teams, but they've had a buy in between. So are they as prime for an upset in the desert? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the Toyota College Football Preview, breaking down 8-1 and one Oregon and 4-6 and six Arizona, a Thursday night matchup in Tucson. But despite the record, this Wildcats team always a much different squad come November. And with more on that, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston as we do every single week. And Spence, Oregon, decent shape, not fantastic because Kansas is still undefeated, but good shape to make it to the national title. Number two in the BCS. They don't play another top 25 team, but Oregon's only home loss last year, Spence, was to Arizona. They got blown out. Could we see that again? Well, it could very well happen. And again, I don't mean to play with the, the statistics or anything, but being in that number two spot isn't the most fortunate position for teams so far in 07. So the Oregon's in pretty good shape, but in terms of the history of this season so far, a little precarious being there. And again, the recent history of Arizona being able to dominate them, I mean, not just beat them, but dominate a better offensive Oregon team last year is, is something you can't just totally ignore. So uh, they're in good shape for right now, but we shall see. Yeah, that was 37 10, the victory in Eugene. And you talked about the number two teams this year. Four number two teams have fallen. Uh, and this season, 10 top five teams have lost to completely unranked teams. So it's there for the taking. Mike Stoops, his squad in Arizona, always plays better in November. Seven and four in the month of November, yeah. four victories against top 25 teams. Spends every year we say, how are they going to stop that offense that's coming to Arizona? Every year, at least for one game or two games, they seem to do it. So how do they stop Oregon's defense that is fifth in the nation? Well, first of all, Jason, they're not going to be able to stop Oregon's offense. That's for sure. And that's really uh, discouraging because Mike Stoops came in on the moniker of great defensive play from Oklahoma as their defensive coordinator. So they've struggled with that. But one of the things they have been able to do is put some points up. You don't want to get into a shooting match with Oregon and Dennis Dixon and that crew. But if you got a chance, I believe because of the poor play of Arizona's defense of late, you got to do it. Now, Willie Tomatua, the uh, quarterback for or Arizona, is a pretty good quarterback. I mean, he's brought them from about 16 points average per game last year to about 28 this year. So they're ringing up the points, about 84 over the last couple of games. So they're capable of putting big numbers up. But again, you don't want to get into a fist fight with this Oregon team offensively. No, certainly not. Not with a healthy Dennis Dixon. And again, the running of Jonathan Stewart has gotten better each and every week. Spence, last year, uh, Arizona caused six Oregon turnovers. Uh, Dixon was benched. Brady Leaf came in. He then threw an interception as well. Do you see Jonathan Stewart here maybe being a catalyst to help Dennis Dixon in this game? Well, I think it will help him. First of all, Jonathan Stewart has got to step up and play because he's facing an undersized Arizona front seven. And I think that if they can establish the run game, Arizona, early in this contest, that's just going to totally open the game up, the field up for Dennis Dixon. So at the end of the day, I think what you're going to see is a team get worn down for Arizona because of the play of Jonathan Stewart at running back for uh, this Oregon ball club. And if they can do that, establish the line of scrimmage early, it's going to be a one-sided affair in my opinion. Spence, you talked about Willie Tuatama, the ninth uh, best passing attack in the nation. Can they outscore Oregon and get the upset? No, Jason, it's not going to happen, but it will be interesting, again, mainly because of the history that Mike Stoop has in the month of November. His teams tend to peak this time of year. It'll be interesting, but Oregon should win this one handily. All right, Oregon trying to avoid being part of that history. Spence, we will uh, talk on Saturday and see if that actually plays out. Okay, Jason, we'll see you, my man. Folks, the two kick it off at 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday night in the desert. For more on this game or any other here in Week 12 of the college football season, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com and watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.